My boy, everybody! Hey guys, what is up? I haven't made a video in a while. I am so sorry. My computer was broken, so I had to get that fixed. I actually had to fix it myself because that damn computer Apple people were like charging me $20. And I ain't about to pay $20. You know what you can buy with $20? You can buy pizza, you can buy clothes, you can buy food, you can buy donuts. You can... Yeah, you can do a lot of things with $20. So I have to fix it myself. I actually had to restart it. But enough of that. Um, I am here so I can rant about back to school. And I don't really think it's a rant. It's more like a rampage because like school is just so. <coughs> yes, that's how I feel so much about school. I just like school so much, and I am here to rant about it. That's what I'm good at, ranting and ranting, complaining about every single thing about life, because life sucks, yeah. Okay, so I just recently moved into a new school, so it was kind of a really skeptical experience, just because it's like, new, right? So like, I have no friends, I have nobody to talk to, and yeah, everybody's just so strange. Okay, so let's get started off with my first period. So my first period class is actually math, and I despise math so much. Math is just not my best subject. But yeah, pretty much, who the hell wakes up at like 7 a.m., goes to school, and takes math for the first period? Like, what? I cannot take math first period because I am just so out of it. I cannot even keep my eyes open in first period, so what? Okay, so my next class is second period and it is AP English. And I have to say, AP English gives me a freaking migraine. Cause like, you have to like, think of all these things. And then, um, like, you have to like, go in depth. And I'm like, what the f does this mean? And yeah, and like, I'm the best at English. And for some reason, I am just struggling in AP line because it's just so complicated. Like. What the hell am I reading? And like the teacher there, she like gives us like four bathroom passes. You know what I hate about school? It's the freaking bathroom passes that teachers give you. It is ridiculous. Like what if you're like a girl and you have a period for more than four times? Are you just gonna like, and you like, no, don't have, I don't even know how periods work to be honest, so I can't really say. But like what if you're like lactose and you have to like go to the freaking bathroom do your diarrhea in there and like you only have four bathroom passes and you use them all up what are you supposed to do poop in class right like i hate bathroom passes so much they need to be oh and our school is so freaking strict we have like um tardies okay let me show you guys this this is ridiculous let me get my backpack Okay guys, I can't find it, but I basically I got a tardy slip. A tardy slip, and it was like my second day of school. Not even my second day of school. Yeah, it was my second day of school. But it was pretty much, it's so stupid because first you get a tardy, and then you get a 30 minute detention, and then you get a two hour detention. And then you get a two hour detention. Like, who the hell in their proper minds give you guys two hour detentions. What the hell is that? You're literally gonna be at school for 3 to 5 p.m. That does not make sense. Like, you know what you can do with two hours? You can do so much. You can actually do your homework. You can actually write an apology letter to the freaking principal and say, I'm sorry, I got this, I won't do it again. And you like explain it. Like, what if your parents have something to do in the morning and you couldn't go to school? And they give you like an attention slip for that. Like it's not even your fault. Another thing that I super super hate is that like all my classes, all my classes are literally back and forth. I don't know why. I, I think like the freaking counselor was trying to like make me exercise. Because literally my room is from here to there to from here there to here from here to there. And it's like it's like I'm literally like running a marathon every single day. Cause like. It is so far, my classes are so far from each other. So yeah, 
by the time we get out of school, I am seriously so exhausted because I have done... I, I think I should be qualified for cross country or like track because the amount of walking I do every single day is ridiculous because I, I even go upstairs and downstairs and sideways and... Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so for my third period class, what is my third period class? Oh, I have art. Okay, so art is probably the most chill class that I have because our teacher is so chill. He like seriously just lays back and gives us a project. Like my project can be stick figures and like or like porn. I could like draw naked people and like he wouldn't care. He would just as long as I'm trying, as long as he sees me doing something, he will give me an A in that class, which is like pretty much the bomb diggity. I love that class so much and like I have good friends in that class and even though they're seniors they are really really great and they're so mature not like all these other basic ass people that are like so immature and like you just want to slap them across the face 200 billion freaking times because they won't shut up about anything let me rant about the people the people in that school I must say the people in that school is a little bit better than my old school, but they are still, they still, some of them still get on my nerves. Just because like they, some of them just don't shut up. Like, and those borrowers, those borrowers that never give you back the things that you lend them. So my fourth period class is actually U.S. History, and um, I actually dropped out of AP U.S. History and moved on to regular AP U.S. History. APU <sighs> I actually moved from AP US history to ordinary US history because that class was so strict and that class had so much reading to do. I will literally be awake at 2 a.m. in the morning doing things and reading things from the book. And yeah, like I don't want to do that. I have like an online life, I have a computer life to attend to. So yeah, so I dropped out of there and moved on to Ordinary U.S. History, which is probably also another chill class. My teacher is so freaking hilarious. And he like cusses so much that it's so funny because he's like this really short Filipino man. And yeah, he's really, really cool. But yeah, so that class is pretty okay. Um, the next class I have is Anatomy. And Ah, uh, anatomy is so much fun. I actually hated science, but this year's science is actually one of my favorite subjects now because I don't know, it's just pretty cool. The people there are super bomb and so my last class, I think it's called yeah, sixth period is French and oh my gosh guys, I cannot understand a single word that that teacher is saying when she's talking in French. She's a really good teacher and she's like the sweetest little old lady you could ever meet. Uh, and she's so cool because she like wears these stilettos and she's like pretty old for um, her age. And she's like pretty old to be wearing stilettos but she still managed to look good in them. And yeah, but in that class, I literally don't know shit. Like, I don't know. The only words that I know is probably bonjour. Um, merci beaucoup. And yeah, like, I don't know anything. And I'm in French too. Because like, basically my French one teacher did not teach me shit. So I have to relearn everything. French one and French two at the same time. Okay, so let me write about the library. So the library is like this... It's a circular building, so it's pretty cool because like, and we're not supposed to eat there. That's where supposedly the nerds hang out. And like, I don't know, I hate all these stereotypical things that everybody throws and like, where people are supposed to be and where people are supposed to not be. Like, does that make sense? Like, the nerds are supposed to hang out in the library. The cool people are supposed to hang out in the chairs. Like, literally, if you weren't cool, you wouldn't be able to sit in those chairs. Like. Everybody has equal rights, and everybody should sit wherever they want to be. But the librarian is so strict, she's like, Why are you eating here? You're not supposed to be eating here. Go outside right now. What are you guys doing, huh? Are you guys helping each other? Are you guys doing work? What are you doing? 
Yeah. It's pretty exhausting here too. It's pretty exhausting. Like I haven't slept. I haven't had a proper sleep since summer vacation. It is the hell. It is the worst experience ever. Pulling all-nighters and then going to school and learning things. I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people take all AP classes. They take a sport. They take all the clubs that they can. But yeah, according to friends wise, I don't really have as much friends as I used to. But that's okay because I'm a junior and senior year is next year and I'm gonna graduate my ass off and I'm gonna go out there and make more friends that I'm actually gonna be with for the rest of my life. So just remember guys, high school will end and your life will continue. So yeah, so just go rant, go rant, go get mad at your school, go, ma go get mad at your class, write it down in your diary because it will end soon guys. Okay guys, so this is it for this week's video. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and make sure you guys comment down below maybe how your first day of school was or how back to school was for you and what you guys liked and what you guys didn't like about it. And make sure you guys also go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and my blogs too, and my Facebook. All the links will be provided down below. But other than that, I'll see you guys next week. And remember, it's all good in the neighborhood.